Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelvin here. So, right after I posted a tutorial on how to fund Binance, many of you guys were asking me how to withdraw from Binance. Guys, that's called paper hands. We don't do that here. On jokes aside, in this video, I will tell you what is the best way to sell your cryptos and withdraw SGD into your bank account. But before I start, I would greatly appreciate it if you can help to tap the like button because it will help out with the channel a lot. In return, I will show you a cute panda. Alright, let's start right now. I will quickly compare all the methods to find out what is the best way to withdraw your money. But if you only want to see the result, I will leave the timestamp down below so that you can jump straight to it, yeah? But otherwise, let's continue. The best method was using peer-to-peer, -peer, but because of MAS ban, Binance removed everything related to Singapore dollars. Why you do this Binance? The second method is withdrawing USD via bank transfer, but there's a $15 fee which I think is super duper expensive because with that money, you can already buy 4 Thai fund with fish already. So let's skip this method. That just leaves us with the final method, crypto transfer. Here's the basic idea. You transfer your crypto to another exchange, convert your crypto into SGD, then you draw the money into your bank. So simple. Here are two things to take note. First, there are different withdrawal fees for every crypto. So we will need to find out what's the cheapest crypto to transfer out. Second, we need to find the crypto exchange that lets you withdraw SGD. Each crypto exchange has different trading fees, different withdrawal fees, and different exchange rate. So we will need to look for the very best like no one ever was. Okay, let's first find out which crypto has the lowest withdrawal fee. Check this out. If you want to withdraw BTC or ETH, you will pay a super duper high fee at $23 and $17 respectively. So let's not do that. Instead, here are some cryptos that you can use for transferring out. BCH, LTC, NEO, SLM, SRP, and ZIL. You will notice that NEO has zero fee. NEO be like, what are you trying to tell me? That I'm the best crypto? No NEO, when you have zero withdrawal fee, you will be the chosen one. But take note that even though NEO has zero dollars withdrawal fee, it does not support decimal number, meaning you cannot transfer 420.6969. Instead, you can only transfer whole numbers like 420. Okay, yeah. Okay, now we know which are the cheapest cryptos for withdrawal. Let's find out which crypto exchange we can transfer to. There are several popular crypto exchanges that lets you withdraw SGD. Binance SG, Gemini, Luno, CoinHako, Crypto.com. Check this out. On the first column, we have the crypto exchanges, followed by the trading fee. You can see that CoinHako has the highest trading fee at 0.8%, and Crypto.com doesn't have any trading fee. But take note that Crypto.com has a bad exchange rate when compared to other platforms here. Because of that, personally, I would not consider Crypto.com for this. Next is the fee when you try to withdraw SGD. Binance SG charges 0.55% for cash wallet. CoinHako charges $2 and Crypto.com charges 0.4% and the others are free. Next column is the cryptos that have cheap transfer fee and supports SGD. For example, for Binance SG, we can sell BCH, LTC, NEO, XRP directly to SGD. But if we check Gemini, even though Gemini has LTC, there's no LTC SGD pair. So if we want to use Gemini, we need to convert LTC to either BTC or ETH, then convert to SGD. So because Gemini and Luno don't have the SGD pair for these cryptos, I will not consider using Gemini or Luno for this method. That just leaves us with Binance SG or CoinHako. Between the two, Binance SG has a lower trading fee, has a better exchange rate than CoinHako. So personally, I will choose Binance SG as the winner. Okay, now I will show you how to transfer from Binance to Binance SG, then sell to cash out. In Binance, at the top, mouse over trade, click convert. Choose your starting crypto, I will choose Shiba Coin because everyone likes Shiba Inu. Then for two crypto, you can choose one of these cryptos. A, I can't find it in this list. That's because you can only convert Shiba coin to very limited crypto. If you cannot find a crypto to convert to, you will need to convert to USDT first, then convert USDT to one of these cryptos. But if your crypto is able to convert to any of these cryptos, you can just convert directly. For example, if you choose ADA at the start, you will be able to convert to a lot more cryptos. So for my Shiba coin, I will convert to USDT first, then convert to LTC. Once you are done, at the top, mouse over wallet, click Fiat and Spot, click Withdraw. We are now in the crypto page. Choose the coin you want to withdraw. Mine is LTC. Next, you will need to enter a destination address. I'm transferring to Binance SG, so I will head over to Binance SG, click account, then look for LTC. Click receive, copy the address. Head back to Binance, paste the address in. You will notice that Binance will automatically filter out networks that don't match the address. So that's good. Enter the withdraw amount, then withdraw. 
Alright, you just need to wait for the cryptos to arrive. It should arrive within one hour. Also, you don't need to keep checking because once it arrives, Binance SG will send you an email telling you that the deposit has succeeded. Once it has arrived in Binance SG, click Buy or Sell. Click Sell, choose LTC. Choose the amount. For a destination, you can either choose S First or Binance Cash Wallet. S First doesn't charge any withdrawal fee, but Binance Cash Wallet will charge you 0.55%. I will choose Binance Cash Wallet because somehow I can't withdraw to S First. Once you are ready, tick to confirm, then click sell. Next, click account at Binance Cash Wallet, click withdraw, enter the amount. For bank account, if you haven't added it yet, you will need to add it first. Choose your bank account, then continue, then confirm withdrawal. You will receive the money within one hour. So that was a step-by-step -step guide on how to pay per hands and sell your cryptos to get back your money. Hopefully, you find it useful. And that's all for today. Like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.